What's up everyone? In this video, we are going to be learning how to debug a user access token using PHP. This is helpful because we can get back information for the access token, such as when it expires, when it was issued, is it valid, the application it was used for, the user ID, and the scope of the access token. On the My Account section of our website, under the Connected Facebook Account section, we're going to add on and display out user access token information. Here I have the application that the access token is for, when it was issued, when it expires, the scope, and then at the bottom here, we're going to do a little show hide toggle where we dump out the entire response we got back for debugging the access token in a text area. Before we get into it, we are picking up where we left off in my last video. The last video, we added the connected Facebook account section where we used the access token to get the user's info from Facebook and display it out in the My Account section. We got back my profile picture, my email, my first name, and my last name from Facebook displayed it out here, and we also added a show hide toggle for the raw user info FB response. Now, this code is on GitHub, github.com slash jstolpe in my Easy Code is repository. Check that out. There's also video tutorials on my YouTube channel for all of the code in this repository. Go watch those, and don't forget to subscribe. I'm gonna start by opening up the myaccount.php file in our Easy Code is repository. In the last video, we added this if statement right here. If we have a Facebook access token, then we got the Facebook user info. The same is true for getting the access token debug info. We need to first check if we have an access token. And if we do, we can call Facebook API and ask for debug info on our access token. We're gonna to define ourselves a function and we're gonna pass in the access token. This function is going to live in our Facebook API.php file, which is in our PHP folder. I'm going to open that up. This file contains all our communications that we do with the Facebook API. At the bottom, I'm going to define our new function. Just like our user info function, the setup is going to be the same. We need an endpoint, we need some parameters, and then we need to actually make the API call. The first thing we're going to define is the endpoint for getting the debug info. The endpoint is fb underscore graph underscore domain slash debug underscore token fb underscore graph underscore domain define is in our autoloader. Here we have graph.facebook.com slash debug underscore token. That is our endpoint. The parameters this endpoint requires is an input token and an access token. And in this case, there we are going to specify the access token for both of the parameters. All we have to do now is make the API call. This is a function that can make API calls to Facebook and all you have to do is pass in an endpoint and the parameters for that endpoint. Then we do a curl call to the endpoint with the parameters and we return the response. And that function right there will give us our debug info and we're going to dump that out to make sure it's working. Do a print R and die. Then we're gonna head over to our My Account page. All looks well. We have our Facebook response right here. In our data array, we have everything we expected for the debug info. Our application expires when it was issued, scopes, and the user ID. We have it all. Now all we have to do is display out different elements of the debug token info array down in our HTML. We're gonna start by displaying out the application the, app, the application the access token is for right under our last name. We're gonna specify our debug token info array, the FB response, the data array, and in that data array, the application will give us our application's name. Refreshing our page, scrolling down, now we see our user access token Facebook application tells us that the access token is for the ECI test app, which is the Facebook application that we set up for allowing users to log in with Facebook through our website. Then we're going to copy that section, and we're going to display when the access token was issued. In this case, we're accessing our data again, always accessing the data array. And in that data array, we need the issued underscore app. This is a timestamp, so we have to use the PHP date function so we can format the timestamp nicely. We're taking the timestamp and we're displaying it out month, day, year, and then the hours, minutes, and the seconds to when it was issued. Check our page. Now we have a nice formatted date for our token issued at. After that, we want to also display out the expires at. So instead of issued at array key, we're going to specify expires at. I'm going to use dashes in here because 
I think it looks a little cleaner when you're trying to read it. Update the issue data as well. But same principle, we're using the date function to format our expires at timestamp. Refresh our page. And now we have our expires at. Uh, we just got to update our title there. Issued to expires. After the expires, we're going to display out the scope of the access token. What does the scope mean? The scope is all the things that the access token has access to for that user. When the user clicked authorize app, when they were logging in with our application, it would have displayed to them that we're going to get their email address back and their public profile information. And so those will come back in an array. We're imploding it on a comma, so we will get a comma separated string for the scopes array. We refresh our page. We have email, comma, public profile. That's the scope for our access token. And that allows us to get the email up here and then the public profile information, which is the first name, the last name, and the profile picture. I need to update my title, user access token scope. Now we come to our show hide toggle. We already have one section set up here for the user info raw response. We're going to copy that and we're going to create one for our debug token info raw response. In our text area right here, we're going to display out our FB debug info token info variable FB response. That is the array key that holds the response we got back from Facebook. We're going to update our data section here to specify user access token debug as well as the ID of the container around our text area to be the same thing. This way, when our show height is clicked, up here in our document.onready function, we have our show height on click. And if we click on the section, and it's visible, and we hide it. Otherwise, we show it. So that's a little bit of JavaScript up there that does the show hide toggle for us. Refreshing our page once again. At the bottom, we have our user access token debug info raw response. We click the show button. It's going to change the text to hide. And it's going to dump out the Facebook response for our debugged access token in this text area. Here's the application we displayed out right here. Um, our expires at timestamp, our issued at timestamp, and our scopes array, which we imploded to be a comma separated string, and then our user ID. And that is how you debug a Facebook user access token. We debugged the access token for the user. Now we know when it expires, when it was issued, the app it was used for, and we dumped out the actual raw response in a text area and added a little show hide toggle functionality. Looks nice and clean. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe button, leave a like, leave a comment. Let me know what you want to see coded up next. I'll catch you later.